And we're on. Hello, hello. Welcome to Healing for Healers. And I'm very excited to have Malcolm with me. And those of you who know me and have been following me on Telegram know that I am really honored and humbled to have an Orinoco pod in my office. And Malcolm is the daddy of the Orinoco pod as well. Mm. That's kind of how I'm thinking of you. How would you describe yourself, Malcolm? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I when we started Orinoco, it was like a co-creation between four of us. So, well, no, actually five, five, six, six of us, actually. So we're co co I would describe us as all co-founders. So we each brought a little skill to the party. Um, both Katrina and I have had experience of making the actual substance, which you call transition state element, which is the core substance for the technology and and we've been doing that since uh, all 2013 uh, but then we had thomas who'd been working on it for even longer than that and at a much higher level and then we had other people who were um like a friend of ours oliver who's an architect but has a keen interest in all all things um etheric and quantum so we all brought something to the party and and i was volunteered to be the man that was going to be the the front end uh, person who's going to do the presentations. So yes, <laughs> I am in that sense. Yeah. yeah. So for those of you that don't know what an Orinoco is, um, for me, it's, it's incredible. It's like a bridge between what you, you know, energy, it's energy work, but there are actual real objects that you can touch and feel. How, how would you describe that? Yeah, so I would say it goes into the category of a tool and it's a tool for people to realise their full conscious um, potential. That's actually what it is. So it's the tool is there to help them understand that they live in a 3D world, but they have access to the 5D world, 6D world, 7D world and beyond. And But, but of course, we're all coming into our power and uh, it's just a tool to get you, in, as you say, across the bridge uh, to to start really coming into your power with uh, with everything that's that's to come. So it's a it's um, I mean the products are arranged so that there's a a, a starter or a, an introductory tool, uh, which is the loop, going right the way up to the pods, which is the uh, the the most sophisticated version of what we've got. Yeah, I don't do videos like this, Malcolm. You do realize <laughs> <laughs> where I bring people on to talk about products. I just don't do it. I okay. never have. Yeah, it's amazing. And so for me, it's not a product. It's a collective of beings that have chosen from so if you're working and i don't think we're really in 3d anymore you know so let's say you're working in and the collective of people of humans that you are coming together to put this into form i think are working with a collective of beings that are not in form in some much higher dimensional realm and maybe each of you can hear a different piece each of you seems to have a piece of the puzzle to kind of make an object i mean i'm just going to go right ahead and, and show what the loop is you know this is an Orinoco loop now it looks and this is a lovely name it looks like a yoga belt yeah. but it isn't it isn't a yoga belt no it's not so tell us inside okay. here there's there, there's there's metal yeah yeah so so basically what we're doing the, the whole of the technology comes from a nuclear physicist basically and he's he was obsessed with um as you can imagine keeping the nuclear reaction in balance he didn't want it to get out of hand so he's constantly thinking about well how how does this universe stay in balance and he then realized that when you have charged particles which he refers to as a plasma then that plasma works in different ways it, it can work magnetically or gravitationally and so then he tried to he sat down and he worked out how those um the movements of those clouds of charged particles actually interacted with the human body. Mm. And that's how he came to 
distill what is in 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 fact the information from photons which is photons from the sun they carry all the information for life on this planet that's how he managed to distill the information from the photons basically into um uh, uh, a, a little vial that we can now use for our technology now he he was he is still working away but he's mainly working over in the east in china um but you can still see his go visit his web website i mean he is basically started off as a somebody who wanted to investigate how you can survive in space without having to take a rocket behind you with medical facilities and another rocket with food facilities and another rocket with fuel facilities so this is a kind of uh, uh, do it all uh, solution so he's called the Kesh Spaceship Foundation. Mm. Uh, they have some amazing stuff there. But but really what, what it boils down to is uh, um, if you go for a walk, uh, the easiest way is to describe what happens to you when you go for a walk in the forest. You know, when you're feeling um, pissed off, basically, you will often go to nature to try and rebalance. And that's what happens as you walk oh, into the forest nature. bathing. So, yeah you know. yeah yeah because you you respond to the environment around you and you your field will start taking up and interacting with the field around you and if you're walking into a balanced environment which a forest is then you will start rebalancing i so don't know if you've noticed but mm. as you start talking now i'm feeling those beings are coming in to join our conversation ah okay great Right. They really are. It's like they're all around me in the Zoom and they're behind you. <laughs> so, uh, so maybe those people who are watching can tune into those too. Yeah. What you're basically saying is, let's say a forest will hold space for a person to come back into balance. That's exactly it. Yeah. And so these products will hold space for a person to come yeah. back into balance. Yeah. And you know, what's really interesting to me is the evolution of our mind and the progress that we've made as I, th I think we're, we're moving from homo sapiens into homo luminous, but it's almost like our brain is more able to comprehend more difficult things and science is beginning to catch up. Yeah. It's beginning well, to, I mean, and my friend honey sent me a video last night where they could measure photons and electrons and all of those great things in crystals to show because it's like we've been attracted to crystals for years but now they have the science to say oh well quartz actually does this to the body and you know citrine actually does this to the body and here's the science around it and it's like yeah. but we already knew that we just didn't have the science for it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so this guy the cash information is really you know cutting edge high level top level science that you're able to create something to support people and hold a space for them well it's not just the people it's actually everything it's your the space it's even your car it's even your rocket whatever you want because it's all made of the same stuff that's the thing so um so it, i mean if you go on his website you can see you can go along to his laboratory or you used to be able to go along to his laboratory and have a go in his capsule so his capsule is basically a trip around the universe because you get into it and then you are so well balanced that you can if you want free your consciousness and go for a little trip around the universe that's what it's for connecting but, you to the quantum field connecting you to the quantum field but of course you can also do that with our uh v4 the, the pods uh probably not quite as sophisticated as his his uh pod which costs a thousand pounds for 30 minute session oh um, a thousand pounds for the session i was gonna say to yeah. me, it would cost a lot more than that to make it i'd imagine if you want to buy one it's a million pounds <laughs> <laughs> seriously it's a million pounds well i don't know i think maybe our minds think that your the pod isn't sophisticated but it really is a very sophisticated piece of technology once you start to interact with it and it was calling me to come and, and, and meet it because my friend Mark Atwood had one, as you know, because, you know, you, you were giving it to him. And I tried it, tried it there. And then I had to connect with you and get one here because 
I'm holding space for so many people. I needed something to hold space for me. Hmm. And it can actually do that. And I feel like a new chapter for me is opening up because it's going to give me so much more energy to be able to do more and know that somebody has my back. You know, the quantum yeah. field now has my back with this Orinoco. It's it's really, it's no, an amazing great. thing. Absolutely. Yeah, it's great. And then, you know, once, once you've, um, I was going to use the word mastered, that's probably not the right word, but when you've become familiar with the uh, field that the Orinoco produces, then you can start developing your own consciousness and really connecting with that field. And then once you've done that, then of course you could, you don't need to sit in the Orinoco at all. You can go to another location and you can just connect into the field yourself with your own consciousness. Now, I hate to have to say that not so many people can do that at the moment, I've managed to do it to a certain extent, but I know lots lots of people who do it all the time. Mm. Um, uh, but even so, people still need something physical, as as you said at the beginning of this conversation, to connect in with. So that's where the Orinoco Portable has come in, uh, which I think I think you've got one there. I do, I do. But just to say to you that um, I connected into the field when I was back in Dublin after being in the Orinoco in Roscommon. And do you know what the definition, some people define a shaman as a person who can bridge both worlds. So you're living in this material reality, but you're also in the other world. Mm -hmm. But you can't do it all the time. No. sometimes you just need you know the actual comfort of like holding this this is the portable i don't know if it's in focus yeah. which is a it's really interesting and an unusual thing but it once you connect to that field it starts to activate and then yeah. you can feel it yeah. so and it will respond it will respond to you definitely i mean basically it's a passive field there waiting for you to initiate um a hello and then initiate whatever you want from that point on because it's opening a doorway and saying now use your intention use your consciousness to go and do whatever you want um and then it's up to you uh but i mean you know we we have lots of people who've used the the pods who sat in them and got out and said well i didn't feel anything but equally there's there's probably more people who have gone in and said wow that was amazing so it's it's entirely an ind individual thing, very individual. But you see, I'll, I'll bring you back to that one, because just because they said they didn't feel anything doesn't mean nothing happened. No. You see, it's the way true. I would describe the amount of work, the amount of emotional pain, the amount of trauma, ancestral karma, it's like putting a blanket over a person. And yep. so you put all these blankets over a person and the person's beneath and something happens outside of the blankets, they can't feel it because there's so many blankets. But if it took off five of those layers, yeah, the person might still not have felt it, but they're lighter. Yeah, absolutely. And they might not even realize it I mean, a few days later. Yeah. And I that's... think that's what we were saying, Malcolm, before I pressed record is that the veils have lifted new information coming in and people are finding so many new ways to heal mm. that just now being around somebody who let's say has thrown off all of their blankets and they're able to feel everything is showing the person under those blankets that it's actually possible to live that way. And maybe they just shed them, you know, subconsciously yeah. as well. Yeah. Cause it's the stepping into the field. It's different language, different ways of learning what this field is and how to interact with it. And, and I think your products help people do that. Like, like, Thank like you. go back to the, to, to the loop. I was just saying to you, you know, my husband has one, <laughs> he wraps it around himself, decides he's going to have a good night's sleep. And then he does. So it's very empowering to the person that they're setting the intention and putting the power of their will, which is what I'm always about, you know, mm. it's life mastery, master yourself. Yep. In your life. Absolutely. So I'm choosing to have a good night's sleep. And as I'm feeling this is kind of lighting up in my hand as I'm saying this, it's like, oh, I like that idea. <laughs> you know? No, no, I mean, that the subject of self empowerment is really where we're coming from. 
it's all about the self-empowerment so it's it's stage one is saying hello and what you're actually doing is saying hello to the field that's created by the Orinoco but you're actually saying hello to your own consciousness that's what's happening and you're recognizing that you are a consciousness and then engaging with it and then working with it basically so as soon as you start setting your intention then you're engaging with that conscious field and um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you can do that with any of the Orinoco products because they're, that's what they're designed for. They're designed to be activated by the intention. So we're working uh, to all intents and purposes. We're working outside of the visible light uh, yes. realms. So if you if you think about you know the, the whole of the light um, realms uh, from infinity to infinity. In the middle is this little box, which is the visible light. That's where we all are. And now we're working outside of that box. And that's what the Orinoco tools are for, is to, is to give you that bridge, like you said before, to get over, to get outside that box and know that there's uh, there's masses of stuff to be explored. Absolutely massive. Oh, yeah. It's a weird, tiny, tiny piece of that. You know, you've got scale it's a tiny, tiny these. piece of it here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a pendant you you make pendants as well inside yeah. of this is it the same thing that's in that jar that yeah so what we do is we take it we're going back to the loop um well, i had a loop they come in different colors by the way so in the loop you will see a, a piece uh embedded in the loop so this is a little piece of copper so what we do is we take the copper and then we treat it with uh, with these. So I'll show you what these are. I've just found one in mine. Yeah, you can see that. So these are all the different what we call transition state elements. So they represent the frequencies of different elements. So, uh, for example, iron, zinc, copper, um, this one's shungite calcium potassium etc cetera, etc cetera. so these are all of the elements not all of the elements these are some of the key elements that make up the human frame right and not many people do this if you if you go on to google and just google what the body is made of in terms of minerals then you'll you'll get a little chart come up and it'll give you all the key minerals that we're made of so that's so that is the frequent those are the frequency form of uh some of the key minerals that we're made of okay now as as we as we go through life we're in trauma stress we use up those minerals and so all that's happening is those minerals are being made more available to you in the orinoco information field right. and then you start interacting with them and replenish whatever it is you've used up for example you know, adrenal stress is a big thing. Like for myself, I've had adrenal failure a couple of times. Wow. So, you know, you to support that, you you know, one of the things you can use is magnesium, for example. So, so you know, you would immediately your body would knows to immediately start taking up the information field for magnesium to rebalance you. So it's like a big cocktail that you're extracting the the key elements that you need um, to bring you back into balance. So what, what I started to say was, so with the loop, what we do is we take a piece of copper and then we spray treat uh, that piece of copper with all, all of those key elements. And because the copper has been treated in a particular way, that copper will um, create a field of information with those elements. And then when you put it in the loop, if you then put the loop in a circle, all the elements will start to talk to each other. And if so you, you stand can sit in the, the circle, circle, then, yeah? Yeah, and then you're part of the conversation. So that's basically how that came about. It was Katrina's brilliant idea. And really, it was actually because we went to study uh, biogeometry. So biogeometry is the study of the whole of the energetic field in which you live. Mm. And it came from the Egyptian architects, and is actually now today taught by an Egyptian architect. And basically, if you were an architect and, and someone commissioned you, 
then you would meditate probably for about three or four months before you actually designed and built a house for them. And then you would build a house and you would be a complete failure if your client was ill because you should be able to build a house that is completely energetically clean and supportive and rejuvenate. Wow. And look and at the crap they're it. making right now that they just exactly. don't care. It's well, all about well, how many houses can they fit into a small space? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but so it's it, so it's more so the biogeometry element came in because we had to find the right length for these loops. So that became out as a hundred, I think it was one hundred and forty-four inches. And the spacing of these was was determined by biogeometry as well. So we just combined the two sciences and came up with this. And um, uh, then we started making on it. And, and really, we were completely wowed by what happened next, because then we took some of this, uh, which can charge, um, you know, a whole litre of water in a very short period of time. And then we took a um, canopy of mosquito netting and sat inside it and sprayed the water all over the canopy. And then and then we were in a, a discrete energetic field of that particular frequency. Um, so it's like a, a, a pod. It was a physical pod hung from a tree in a forest. And uh, I had the first go and uh, that was in there for 20 minutes, uh, came out and then I was zonked for four hours because my body was just completely rebalancing. It was, it was amazing feeling, it absolutely amazing. And then we extended that to other people. And we actually had, we were in Ibiza at the time, we actually had a, uh, got a hall and we put three of these cocoons, we called them in the hall. And then we had a queue of people outside who were wanting to come in and try them out. And, you know, they were coming out with, oh, I, I talked to my grandmother or I, I talked to my ex-wife or uh, whatever it was, but they were, had access to the quantum field as soon as they went in and it was just up to the person as to how much they wanted to use that access and where they went actually because lots of people had out-of-body experiences that's amazing so so it's, it's actually it is amazing because it's completely outside of our terms of reference uh you know as far as our education is concerned and our education system is concerned so so that's why it's amazing um but it's actually it's baby it's baby stuff compared to what's going on outside of the 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 visible light frequencies that we know what's going on outside of that is just incredible but we we can't even imagine uh how to tackle that well i think from what i've learned over the last three or four years it's like we're handicapped before we even start the race. Yeah. You know, that's when true. you're talking about the houses and to live in a place that supports you, could you imagine waking up and feeling good every day? People wake up and feel crap every day, you know, and it's like you've got all these people around you. You've got the ley lines and the angles used in the houses are all wrong. And then from what I've learned as well, the frequencies of all of the equipment in your house, like the washing machine and the fridge are tuned to the frequencies that hurt you. Mm -hmm. You've got the microwaves, electromagnetic frequencies coming in from the phone towers. You've got the addictions of the, the you know, of, of checking the phone all the time. Whatever yeah. and then you've got the poisons in your food you've got poisons in your water yeah yeah no it's no yeah we start to raise handicaps so if we can create a space where we're supported what's yeah. incredible to me what's really been incredible to me is how quickly the body can come back into balance if it's given the resources that it needs yeah no it, it, that is a very very quick process i mean we've i've had people come who are very experienced energy workers, but they they held a you know a big trauma that they've been trying to get rid of for say two years, and then they've come sat in the pods and set that really firm intention. And I've been there, Kat's been there, and then they've let let it go. They've processed it, and they've actually started shaking because if you do trauma release therapy, then that is a that is one of the ways in which you release your trauma. And uh, we were there to support them. So, that, you know, that that worked a treat. It was a very quick process. But most people come off exactly as you described with the blankets, layer by layer by layer by layer. Um, and if you throw a few blankets back onto them, 
because you're hanging out with people who are like dumping their own stuff out you, they don't notice no no but, but when i sat in the pods it only took them 15 minutes to clear my energy field yeah and i was just amazed and it came right down from my legs all the way up through me and out and then i'm like oh i do that for people but no one does that for me i need one of these you know? <laughs> it's true it's true the, the people who work with this technology often are those people who <laughs> don't look after no it's not looking after themselves but don't benefit from it so much um so but that clearing process once you've once you've uh once you've got together with your consciousness in the field, you can call that process in very, very quickly indeed. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter where you are on the tube station, on the railway line, whatever, you can just do that clearing once you've really mastered it. And it's uh, people will notice, you know, people will notice and you'll notice because you'll be in close proximity to people and people, some people will like to stand closer to you. <laughs> some people would like know, to I'll run away because <laughs> i've had the pod now for about two months i think coming up to three and i've noticed just having it in my life has changed things ah, okay. which has been remarkable so when it arrived it was in my house and it was very unhappy in there because i have a small house and there's a lot of us living there so it likes to have its own space yeah, it does. but i think i was saying to you the day that i brought it to my office I was given a new contract of, of, of renting the office. And it's like, so are you going to stay or go? And it's like the building had to decide if it wanted me because now I was coming in with this pod. So, you know, <laughs> that wasn't in the contract. <laughs> <laughs> but what's been happening and then the pod, it was, it was interesting. It was like it didn't speak to me for the first week or two when it was in the office because it was going into the land and into the buildings and it's changed something about the energy of yeah. the whole building now everybody's benefiting from it around here just having that field going yeah. is incredible but i'm finding i've got more resilience i've got more tolerance i've got more patience um i'm becoming more psychic wow it's really interesting i feel the guides come to me and they're with me wherever i go now fantastic and yeah, that yeah. people are showing up at the right time. And I know, okay, I have to, so I've got a color printer now. So I've put my brother in, he had a cancer scare and now he's clear. It was very quick going from one thing to the next. So I was like, now he's connected to the field. I had a friend who was sick for months with uh, a bad pneumonia. And, you know, so I, I brought him into my consciousness, put him into the pod, I suppose, remotely, and then put a picture of him in there. And he slept for 10 hours and he woke up and he felt better. Uh -huh. Right, right. You know, it's just incredible. Yeah. Because yeah. we're yeah. all connected through this field and we're only really beginning to learn how that works, I think. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, it is a very individual thing because I mean, like with your brother, he's obviously decided he wanted to get better. So so he, he got a benefit from it. Uh, or you persuaded him that it was good. And it, I it told good. him he wasn't fucking leaving. Any, he was going to get this. But there are people who have contracts that need to play out. So yeah. if the illness is still there, I believe. I mean, this goes for any kind of healing. If the he, yeah. if the illness won't go away, it needs to speak to you. It's got some message for you, and you have to sit with the illness as opposed to pushing it out of you or being in fear of it. Yeah, you know, embrace it, surrender to it. You, you will go to that deeper level with it. And it could be that you've been dancing with the issue for lifetimes. So healing crisis is part of healing. Yeah, yeah. No, but, uh, but also, I don't think the universe is um, cruel in the sense that once you've had the realisation that, that you, you, you can stay or go and, and you've made your mind up that you want to stay, I mean, I, I personally had that uh, situation arise when I was in hospital with pneumonia and I, I literally got to a point where I was going to, I was thought, uh, well, it's not so bad, but I'll go see what it's like. But then I made my mind up to stay and then, and then I got better and came out. So it was, um, I mean, I, and I hasten to add, it was the, literally the heart fields of the nurses and the doctors there that were, that I could feel in that room in the hospital. It was amazing. Um, wow. And that was actually what got me better, I think. 
I don't think it was anything else in the hospital. I think it was him. So, uh, so it was, um, it was a, a, an amazing experience. So I, th I think. Can you when... make like sneaky little tiny Orinocos that we can all just do gorillas <laughs> in the hospital and just stick them in there to make them much more yeah. human places because they bloody <laughs> need that. <Yeah. laughs> no, but it's the, it's the same thing you see because it still needs your interaction and your conscious interaction with it. You don't actually need any any of these little things. You just had to. You just need to connect with the frequency of that. Uh, both Katrina and I, when we were when we were making this, oh, this is going back to about two thousand and fifteen. Um, we went on a, a a one week course, and we forgot to bring any of these with us. And so that the first night, we just lay in bed and we just connected with them and that was the first time we did it we connected with the frequency of these and sure enough the energy came in it was great uh, real, having that realization it's really good so so they are a tool but i think they're an essential tool because as you said we because we're coming from the physical and we're entering a realm where we're going to be working in both the physical and the energetic we do still need these little props to to help us uh, make that connection and then move into the uh, into the energetic world. I think so, as well for people who aren't used to working, you know, wearing it around your neck and every time you touch it, oh yeah, I can connect in. Yeah. You know, it's a reminder. Yeah. It's like writing post-it notes all around your house. Don't forget to connect. And then you just stop seeing them after a while. Yeah. So, that, And that of course is one of the great ways to manifest, isn't it? Because when you, if if you want um, to change your life, you do a little storyboard, put put the pictures up on the board, leave it by the front door. Every time you go out, you look at those pictures and you connect. That means you're then sending the intention, the thought of those things that you want. So you are manifesting. So it's mm. that's exactly what you're doing when you when you when you wear one, when you take one with you, when you you can wear the loop any time of day that you like. Can put it in your bed you can i wanted to ask you is it okay to tie it to, to itself yeah 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 in fact i don't tie it in a knot uh what i tend to do is um uh bring the two ends round and then uh intertwine them rather than do it as a knot so just kind of like this yeah exactly yeah yeah you can do it like that or or take both ends uh, so if you, you can do it like this, you can take both ends um, and you, you could wrap that around you. And then when it comes from around you to the front, then, then you just literally loop it through, loop it through like that. And and, it, and it'll hold like that. That's, and does that's... it matter if you have a loop in the end and, and, and you double no, it? Up or... No, because this technology is all about interactions. It's the number of interactions you have with the with the copper pieces with the field so you can you can bump that up um so you could you could for example put that in your bed under the top sheet in a in a in a circle so that it comes up to about your throat level and then it goes down and it comes to, to just below your base chakra so that's your whole of your torso is within the 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 actual circle and then if you take some of this or Actually, take the loop before you go to bed, wrap it around a big jar of water and then put the water into a spray bottle and then spray the water on your sheets and then put the loop in. And then you've got an additional um, interaction going on with the sheets and the loop and yourself. And then well, if you I was thinking you could take the water and spray it on your plants. Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. That is that is a whole other area of technology that absolutely works, but we haven't gone there yet because we're, we're using up all our resources doing. I'm it. going there. Look at this guy behind me. He could do with a bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> that, that was that, another thing I said to you when Orinoco moved in. This guy went a bit crazy, and I had to go and get a pot and repot him and give him lots of love because it was like, "This is my space. What's going on?" Yeah. <laughs> it was really strange. Really Can you hang on, just one one second. I'll just the powers just. Um... Your power is going. No, no. What it is is I've got two identical white cords, and I've plugged the one in from the printer and not the one in from the power source. 
<laughs> oh, for your computer. Yeah. We've had a few up, a few upsets today with this recording, which is showing me that there's interference, which means it's really important. Because uh -huh. when there's when there's interference for something new, I find that with my books, it's like there's some kind of power out there that doesn't want this to go out. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, we just have had, to push harder. Yeah, we've had a lot of stuff like that going on over the years. Loads. Any story you want to share? Uh, oh, there's loads, but I mean, the, the most hair raising one was when I was in Ibiza and we were, I, I, I bought myself a motorbike and we'd spent the day working with the Orinoco stuff and we were heading back home and I, I, I don't know what happened, that somebody had managed to come into the middle of the road no lights because in Ibiza on the on the roads there's not a lot of light, and and I had the headlight of the the motorcycle on, but for, for some reason I just did not see these two girls that they literally came out in front of the motorbike, and I, I don't I still don't know how I didn't hit them. It was incredible, but it, it was just one of those things that uh, they were fine by the way. <laughs> absolutely fine that's amazing and and uh and i stopped afterwards i mean they were very drunk but they stepped right out in front of me and i don't know how i missed them but i mean we've had lots of just little stuff pop up and they took you out of the quantum and put you yeah. back and then you yeah, just yeah. skipped through them i think that happened yeah. to mark atwood as well mm -hmm. i'm just even thinking just just cat not being able to come to ireland breaking her wrist and all of that i mean stopping her from coming over yeah, yeah, you no, took a was, hit so that yeah. you could come over and not have any problems you know yeah no i mean that was that was a bit of a an energetic attack um that she had there which it was quite dark but i mean it was it was fine it's fine well, completely on top of it no problem i think that'll be happening less and less though Yes, yeah. Because we, we really have made our choice, you know, and this is what we want. We all want to feel better. We all want to feel empowered. We all want to be sovereign beings. We all want to have our say and our voice and be listened to. And so I think it's really empowering, especially as we're taking on more and more of this resistance and pushback as the old ways are dying to be able to say, OK, now I need to have a safe space for me where I can sit and hold, you know, the portable or sit in the pod and then I get replenished really quickly, and then you can go back out again and and, yeah. and do what you need to do to keep going. So that, exactly. That clearing has got so fast. It's, it's really, really good. Uh, I mean, we were doing some work yesterday, and um, for the whole day we were doing uh, a clearing workshop with, with somebody. And, uh, yeah, we got back, and we were very open. So we just sat with the, the, the pod and, and just consolidated everything. We felt much better. Took about an hour when we got back. Yeah, but, yeah. But what what I feel is that every time you do this work, you you're just stepping up another notch, stepping up another notch, and then the other stuff that's been appears dark or is negative just starts dropping away, and it, it can't even get. Well, I can't problems. reach. I mean, uh, uh, another friend of mine, Tim, says as we move into higher frequencies, it has to move up to catch us. Yeah. And then when it gets up to the frequency of love, it's like, why am I even here? What's, yeah, yeah. You know, what's, this, <laughs> what's this all about? Yeah, it starts, to, it starts to transform as well, yeah, yeah, which is really yeah. interesting. Yeah. So what I've noticed just, just for the, the people watching might find it interesting that because we are all raising frequency right now, there are these short, sharp shocks for want of a better word to make you drop your frequency really fast and then out of nowhere the hand comes and grabs you and tries to pull you down further and that's happened to me a couple of times and so yeah. when you catch that happening to have something to hand to say no i'm not going to drop or say no i'm not going to drop i'm not going to drop or even just connecting in to say no and raising yourself up to get that support from the, you know the the yeah. rno for the collective or your guides your higher self you could say to the angels please don't let me drop down because I think we're really at a pinnacle moment where it's important that we don't drop. Mm. Down. It's really important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and also that with with the pods, I mean, they do create a network. So you only really need to set the intention to to cook into the network, 
and you've got all the support of that network behind you. So that's that's a very important point. And, and we we make sure the network is, you know, um, energetically clean all the time. Um, but people can just hook in whenever they like. Because once they've said, as I said earlier, once they've said hello to the field, and they've said, and they've actually said hello to their consciousness, and they've they've uh, got on board with the whole thing. So, so yeah, you go into that field and you meet yourself there, don't you? You do. You do. That's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. So what are you working on at the moment? What's... So so really what you've got there, the portable, is the very latest thing that we've been working on. Um, and there's there's an awful lot of work in that. And the, and actually the biggest amount of work is the the black bit in the middle you can see is a set of yeah. uh, a set of coils uh that are layered up and that the, the the conditioning of those coils is the thing that takes the time so that can take three or four weeks uh the rest to of make it one of these yeah 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 um so we can't produce loads of them uh you know they're done on a uh, batch by batch basis uh but we will be selling those soon um we we just got to build up a bit of a stock back back pile so that we've got you know we can are meet you taking names for a waiting list uh well, well people have been on and asked for them and then so we have taken some names it's yeah. not a huge waiting list at the moment but because we haven't really said anything about it this is the first time actually spoken about it publicly uh in in those terms behind the scenes you, uh people may know that we've got hosts um in in and around the uk and obviously in Ireland. Um, and so we have written to them to say it is available if you want to use it. A, a, a good use for those actually is we got a couple of people who are sound healers and they found them very useful uh, just to set up in a hall where they're going to be doing their session and they, they can just bring those along, set it up and, and it starts conditioning a hall very quickly. The pod or the portable? The, the portable. Yeah. yeah, I mean the because pod. I think the pod takes longer to really settle into a, a space. Lot longer. Yeah, it's far more comprehensive, and it takes usually three weeks. Once you set it up, usually it takes about three weeks uh, to condition its environment, and it will condition everything. You know, the walls, the ceiling. Can I show you something? Yeah. Do you see my three paintings there? Yeah. On the wall. So before, and there's there's two out of the three <laughs> pods before i had the pod i would come in every day and they were all be you know sideways moved and everything because there's a lot of energy comes through i had a feng shui expert tell me how to arrange the paintings and the flow with the so that the that the energy would just shoot right through and out the window right. but since the pod's been here they've settled totally Wow. So I come in in the morning and they're all straight and I'm like, that's weird because normally I have to straighten them. <laughs> and things like that. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing. It's amazing. No, but I mean, this goes back to what we were, I was talking about earlier about the biogeometry, you know, where you're where you're looking at the whole of the field in which you are. You're not actually in a house. You're in a field of energy. Yes. So the whole thing is about um, bringing that field into coherence. So the pods do that. Basically, you know what and I you, love when you say you have to be in a good state of mind and and having had a meditation and everyone you're making them because you don't want to put your anger into it because I'm thinking there's a lot of anger in these buildings and there's a lot of angry yeah. people making buildings so then you're living in angry energies. Yeah. Totally, totally, totally. No, I mean making before we even started making any products, we had to actually condition the whole of the environment. It took us three months to condition the building we're in and the grounds around uh, before we could actually produce the first TSE to start making the products. Uh, but once you've established the field, it's very difficult to knock it down, you know, knock it out in any way. So I'd imagine you had quite a bit of disruption during that process. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, well, we didn't have a lot of disruption. We What we had a lot of, well, we did have disruption, yeah, from other human beings trying to yeah. stop it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, they is. don't want to change because, no, you true. know, they it's don't true. want to look at the stuff that they don't want to look at, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we did have that. Uh, you're, you're dead right, yeah. That, that was very interesting. So um, so, that, so when you've got the pod, you are, 
you are conditioning everything around you in, and it will actually extend into your neighbors the field will extend yes. into your neighbors now that's not to say it will invade your neighbors because it's just an available field and it's up to your neighbor then if they're sitting there and think oh well, this feels quite nice i might connect in with that or knock on your door and say what's going on i can feel a difference and then you know they can connect in with their consciousness but it's just there so it's ba and it's balancing everything it's balancing the walls the energy of everything which is why we also say when you sit in the pods you should use a, a plastic chair a perspex chair yes. rather than a, a metal or a wooden chair that's not because metal and wood are bad but it's because the the rebalancing process will take care of the chair first before it takes care of the person sitting in it so that's why you have a perspex chair because then it'll get to you uh more quickly um but once once it, i mean if you're not moving it anywhere and you're you're going to hold the same space then putting it in a metal or a, or a wooden chair is absolutely fine because somebody somebody coming into the field in after two or three or four months will be will be right in the field yeah so so the other thing that can happen is the whole process does speed up your connection to the quantum field so if you're a therapist what we've uh typically encountered is chiropractors for example where they they often don't even know what the problem is when the, before they walk into the room where they're into their clinic where their client is they have to walk in assess the situation and then start the treatment what they're saying to us is is that the whole field because it's that much more connected they are able to tap into their intuition and commence the process of uh correction almost instantly whereas before they used to have to sit down and do a little bit of an analysis do i do that do i do that and they just have more of a knowing of what to work yeah. on yeah yeah that's happened with two or three people we know so um so it's it is speeding up the the field uh the, the uh interaction and the information um yeah, that's, that's interesting you say that because i have noticed that my psychic abilities are kind of more fine-tuning it's like sharpening the pencil oh, yeah. I've got a bit yeah. of a point now and um i just think of saying. somebody and then they text me almost instantaneously or in you know, or I I can push an idea into somebody's head. Like there was some woman that I'm trying to do a business transaction with. I'm buying something from her, and she hadn't got back. It was like, what? Why hasn't she got back to me? And then she's back to me straight away. It's like, oh yeah, don't forget about me. So it's like you can tap people on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have fun no, with okay. telepathy. So and, I think it's, it really is kind of bridging the potential of who we are becoming and helping yeah. speed that up a bit. But I, I think we also must remember that, of course, once we're into that space of, uh, I don't know what to call it, I suppose you'd call it Christ consciousness or ultimate consciousness, then if you're in that space and everybody else is, they can all read your thoughts as well as you can read theirs. Oh, so yes. Just be careful what you're thinking about. But that's yeah. the whole point, isn't it? That yeah. you're not going to be able to hide if you're yeah. lying. And yeah. that authenticity and integrity are going to be the way forward. And we're going to be able to hear that frequency of truth. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what we're going to be attracted to more. Yeah, so absolutely. that's why it's a real choice. So you're going to step into this life or do you want to, to stay behind? Yeah. yeah exactly. a really good point there. Yeah. No, well, I mean, I'm excited to, to record some <coughs> meditations when I'm sitting in the Orinoco and then see how people find those as well. And be well, be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. I mean, we've done some distance sessions with people. Um, and we've had some really quite, you know, they've had some really quite profound responses when we've done that. Not very many, but yeah, it, it definitely works a treat when you're working one to one. I, we haven't done a lot of work um, in a group setting at all because we're not 100% sure how the energy will run in a group ses session. But so when you're saying that, you mean like in-person session, yeah. having lots of people inside the pod? Is that what you mean? Well, we've done we've done some meditations with physically, say, 50 people. We've done some meditations with 50 people. But it was it was a very very strong and mixed 
um, energy field. So there were there were three or four people who had a very strong release. So, but uh, it's okay. I mean, we were there and we could hold the space, and there were a couple of other people that were helping us. But so it's not really for it's not really been developed for that. It's been developed for the personal um, um, uh, your your personal expansion. I think expansion is the key word here. And certainly, somebody in the states that we were we've been working with, she's she said that's exactly what she got. She like you. She knew the pods were on the way over to her. She was already talking to them. <laughs> but when she got them, she could feel this expansion. Expansion. I, I think that's what we should be thinking of. In, it was in the title terms. of my third novel. You do know that. I have to, have to show it to you now. Really? It's the third book of my trilogy. Ah. <laughs> well, there you go. Brilliant. It's a, yeah, see, it's a big one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. But yeah, no, when I sat in the Orinoco, um, in Roscommon, it basically said to me, it wants me to write a book while sitting in it. Oh, okay. It's like it wants to, me, to, you know, to help me. But yeah. the way I see it is it supports me and then I could open out to yeah. more people online. So it's not that they're sitting in it, but we're all in the quantum field together, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay, great. Super. It's interesting. Yeah. Super. So, wow. So we're going to put your website below the video so okay. people can check it out and and there'll be testimonials there um you're getting more and more great stories from people of you know yeah we've had lots yeah yeah is there anything no, that no, stands no. out any any story from anyone that you've heard that stands out as something that you didn't oh, expect to hear <laughs> yeah we've yeah we had um like the last week i had a letter from a lady in florida uh, now, what she's done, interestingly, is she's worked with the pods and she's worked with something called a harmonic egg, which some some people may know what that is, but you can look it up. So she had a situation where she had a um, a woman who was in an induced coma, had been for weeks um, and uh, suffered a lot of trauma. And um, she worked with... Uh, from a distance remotely so she put the woman remotely into the harmonic egg and then she put the pods around the outside and she did a 40 minute session and um two days later this woman walked out of the hospital so the staff were absolutely gobsmacked about how that happened i mean 40 I minutes yeah yeah and so but this woman was also gobsmacked because she um she asked for guidance on how much the pods had ramped up the whole of the healing process um, because it was it was the egg that was the, the core of this. But apparently the, the information she got back was that it, there was a thousand times uh, ramp up in the, um, I suppose, the expansion of what was happening. And so she, she went on to work with other people after that. So that, I mean, that came in week before last, I think. But I mean, we've had some amazing, people have been off exploring all around the universe. They've come back. Uh, well, well, in fact, on, on the on the website, there is a whole page of testimonies. And you just look at those because every one is completely different because it is a completely personal experience. So you've got everything there from people who have got here. Some of their hearing has come back to being um, traveling, uh, arthritis. It, you know, it's the point about it is, is the pods are not there as a healing technology. And if someone says to me, will these pods heal me? I will say, absolutely not, because it's actually the person that is doing the work. And that's what they're there for. They're the tool to teach mm. people they can heal themselves. And that's the most important thing. So they thing. support you to heal yourself. Yeah. Yeah. They open you up to new avenues that you can explore for yourself. So we're not, we're absolutely not saying these pods will heal you because that doesn't achieve anything. What that does is put people back in a passive situation. And they go, okay, well, possibly, you know, I'll sit here and wait for it to happen. But what's happened? 
you have to engage, you've got to uh, open your consciousness, engage, and then really start to take your power back and, and come into your own. Absolutely. And it meets you where you are, which is what yeah. I love. Yeah, so. absolutely. So, yeah, if you go on the website, that's that's on a page. And then if you want, there is a separate page there that uh, is uh, entitled, um, I think it's called uh, Information Guides. If you look on there, what we've done is publish PDFs of all the guides for all of the products plus other things. So, for example, on there is a little booklet that... Um, Simeon has written who works with us he's he's that's it yeah no so that is a great little booklet because it kind of demystifies some of this stuff about the quantum quantum this quantum that everybody's talking quantum but you know what is it and is it important and because really quantum is just the the overview adjective that describes a whole host of things you know, Tesla, as in Nikola Tesla technology, uh, scalar waves. Um, um, and anyway, I mean, there's 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 loads of it. Um, so it's really just a description of how small you can go. So it's amazing, yes, yeah. yeah, it's it's, it's, so, it's an experience, though. It really is something that you have to experience for yeah. yourself. I think. Yeah. No, it is totally experience, and I, and that's really where we're coming from. We're not trying to sell loads and loads and loads of these things because unless you've experienced it and you understand what you're doing, then it's, it's actually worthless to you. You've got to really engage with it. And that's, uh, and that's why we have the hosts, you know, they are hosts that we've given uh, or we've lent a pod to, and you can go along for a session with any of those hosts. And the first session is free. It's just 20 minutes free session. And that's to get you um, interested in technology. And then you can work with that host in whatever they're doing. And uh, we're, we're not collecting a payment for that. It's uh, it's just an introduction for you. Uh, and then you just have to work with your host as to what you want on from that. I mean, I, I had a I was shown by somebody who does a Bowen technique, um, a use for the loop that I'd never even envisaged. So she laid me down and and with bow and technique you're you're working with aligning the spine and uh the, the skeleton so she can used kinesiology to test my uh test my feet to see which one of the the tses i needed for my body okay. so she'd noticed, she'd noticed that my leg one leg was slightly longer than the other and she said, oh, that needs correcting. So she then tested with kinesiology, determined it was, um, I think it was actually the copper one. Then she got the loop and she rolled the loop up and kept it in the cotton bag that we supply. And then she put this into the cotton bag and then she put the whole thing on my chest. And then we, as I lay there, my, my legs uh, aligned. She didn't actually do anything. My legs just aligned. It was amazing. So she was gobsmacked. I was totally gobsmacked. And then she went on to do a, a proper bone and treatment after that. So, you know, it's just we're exploring all the time with this stuff. So don't it don't make be... sense, though, because like like I was saying, how many poisons are thrown at us all the time if we, you know, just a, we're, we're, we're quite resilient. But I think we have a tipping point when there's just too much and then our body reacts in certain ways. So by being supporting, just taking the loop and putting it on your chest is is great. Well, what you're doing when you do that is, of course, you're putting <clears throat> the field here and there's no field behind you. So what's what you're actually doing is creating a movement of energy across your body. Okay, and, and which is what you want because yes. what you want is an interaction. And even when you wrap it around you, you're still creating uh, an interaction, it's a slightly different interaction. But yeah, just leaving it on. I mean, like Katrina's uh, got a fractured wrist and a fractured elbow. She's had the loop on all the time. And uh, in fact, she's had no pain with it at all. Uh, you know, it's, it's healing. Um, 
but we're now using it with uh, dogs, um, with horses, uh, and we've uh, and we produce some uh, test uh, dog collars, which actually I, I it was quite funny because I was actually wearing them around my throat because I wanted to <laughs> use them on my throat chakra. And yeah, it was great. I, I went to bed wearing it. And and uh, when I woke up in the morning, it felt as though everything wanted to get clear. So I had to have a good go to the bathroom, clear my throat and everything. But then afterwards, for the rest of the day, I felt really good. So we've... Oh, we've, wow. Because I know people love their pets. And, you know, mm. especially when pets are getting older, you know, to give them something okay. to support them. That's brilliant. Absolutely. No, that's very good. I mean, if you just put the loop around the dog basket, the dog will sleep you know no problem at all it'll have a lovely sleep but but we've been using them um there's a little doggy ashram in portugal that's been using them trying them out so they just tie the loop just behind the front legs around the torso and that seems to support them in a very uh beneficial way so we, we, we're well, that's we're where their heart is isn't it i think that's where yeah, it's where the heart are, yeah. Is the cage. yeah so that that has really helped um, and then we've had uh, somebody else who breeds dogs, uh, those uh, Ridgebacks, I think they're called, and and a couple of them were, were getting really out of hand, and they used the loop on them. Well, they used these dog collars we made, and uh, they just calmed right down. Oh. So it was it was really, really good, really beneficial. There's a huge market for you. Yeah, yeah. Dog calming collar. You don't even have to tell anyone what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It just works. Just buy the bloody thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. So yeah, so we've got there's, there's um uh we've got a shaman who's uh, working with this technology. She's also a dog walker, so she's using it all the time. Um, she thinks it's brilliant. Well, maybe and, stuff for babies then to help them sleep too. That would yeah, be really good. Yeah, it's and and pregnant women. Um, at the moment we've got quite a famous doula, um, working with them. Um, and she took, uh, I think that. 12 of these away and she's been working with some of her clients um wrapping them around the, or leaving it in a circle for them to sit in uh because we we found with a with a couple of people they just said they felt very very held um you know while they're pregnant very held with the loop and it just you know uh, allowed them to relax a lot more that, that's, that's fabulous it. yeah and, fabulous. and in fact we had um Last week, we had somebody come on saying that they wanted a set of pods because they had somebody who was experiencing a, a late birth and they wanted the, the pods to support them. So I'm I'm just waiting for the update on that to see if there's anything amazing happening. Are you going to have a home birth inside yeah. the pods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. A little alien baby so, coming out. <laughs> yeah. So there's loads of application. And the point about all this is you don't have to be a genius or, or a fantastic um, scientist to make this stuff. Anybody can produce this TSC, this TSC. You can make this stuff in your kitchen, you know, with one of these. You can just make it. All you need is a glass, the distilled water, and and the right copper plates or zinc plates, a few other little things. But it's not complicated because that's how I started. Um but the key thing is that when it's making, you've got to be in the right space. You can't mm -hmm. be in a rush, rush space. You've got to be in. I, I mean, I just used to put mantras on when I was working with it and just sit in the garage and have the mantra playing all the time when it when it was working. Um, so we've made it with uh, all sorts of things. I mean, Katrina was amazing. She was making it in nature with we were having owls come to the house. We did have a snake one day, so that wasn't quite so good. But um, I'm had sure all... he was pretty chilled out, Snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But so yeah, so it the point about it is it's very um, accessible for everybody, um, and that actually was the intention of Cash to to show people that anybody could make this stuff. It's not expensive to do. Um, there's a website called. Um, uh, What's it called uh, this this is done by Oliver who who's the architect who works with us um plasma um production limited if you uh, no not limited plasma production.org mm. you go onto that website Oliver has listed out 
all the articles that you can do um you can look through um he's he's put in there uh articles videos and resources which include everything about how you make tsc it's actually referred to as gans water gas at a nano state but you don't need to worry about that it's just, it's it's all there it's all set out for you uh so if you want to have a go and make it i mean our first no, i think thing... i'd rather just give you a shout and yes <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> that's most people say. <laughs> i mean that's the thing it's it's wonderful that you guys have made this all so accessible because you know it feel it feels like like coming through you. It's opening up a whole new level of availability to people, which yeah. which is just wonderful. And so, maybe after you know people have watched this, they understand why I'm so enthusiastic. Why I'm talking to you, you know. And I'm not selling anything. You want to buy one? Go go to go to Malcolm. He has the website. <laughs> no, that's great. That's great. No, I mean, all we want to do really is make people aware. That's the most important thing. And and as, as long as people be, can become aware, then it's up to them to, to, you know, to progress it because they are taking themselves outside of this box into the bigger universe, as it were. So yeah. the, time, the time for them to do that will be shown to them and will be right. So I can't, I can't force anybody to do that. <laughs> Well, look, I'm really pleased that you're able to talk to me today. I really appreciate and I'm enjoying the relationship with you and I'm looking forward to I'll probably have you back on. We'll have more success stories. I'll have more stories to tell yeah, and right. uh, we can share more information. Is there anything you'd like to, to leave people with before we go? Uh, just, uh, yeah, I, th I think every day, even if it's just once a day, remember that you're you are part of the energetic field. If you think you're standing in a room or you think you're standing in the park, just remember you're not. You are actually standing in this energy field and just see if you could connect with that field wherever you are. And, and just by doing that once a day, it, it will start to um, start to loosen you up, expand you into that, uh, into that field and then connect you with your... Uh, True powers, I think that's what it is. That's fantastic. And, and uh, so, and, and I also like to say thank you very much, Abby, for having me on. Because oh, it's uh, my pleasure. I'm just thinking if we, if it. people did that exercise that you just suggested, and then they could ask, how many blankets do I have on me? Oh uh, yes. Can I take a few yeah. off today? Yeah. yeah. Can I yeah. take one? And then you could yeah. do that too. So that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, the, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording now. Okay. I can find the button. Lovely. I can't find it. <laughs>